What's up, guys? It's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another review. Today, I have one I am very excited for. This should be the Vader of, you know, everyone's collection. This is going to be the standout Darth Vader. Uh, this is the Obi Wan Kenobi version of it, the SH Figure Arts most recent release. And uh, it looks great. And I can't wait to open this package up. I cut the uh, tape right before I started the video. But here we have the outside of the package. Here you can see some product images of it. Here it looks like the cartoonish version. I lied. That is actually a cartooned figure version where it's actually showing the light from the lightsabers of both the most recent obi-wan release and the vader and you can kind of see the joints uh where the uh shoulder and elbow are here you can see his uh half mask and there's where they got the idea from and uh forward you have your clear clamshell on the front, you have Star Wars Obi-Wan logo on the top and your usual uh, warnings and such on the bottom. So let's open this guy up. Very cool uh, thing in the back that I didn't even take notice to. That slip sheet that they put in the back to cover up like the uh, instructions this is one of the coolest ones they've done that Vader figure or the uh, Vader images excellent and then instead of writing on the outside of the packaging like they have them most recently get the piece of paper here he is in the clamshell you get um, two different versions of his lightsaber I assume one you can actually attach to one is uh, to keep if he does not have the saber parts on it. Uh, you get two different heads, the broken helmet and the regular helmet, and then you get multiple different hands. Uh, fingers pointing, you have almost like fingers pointing, force using, force choke, uh, also force using, and... It's mostly just like grips, uh, force grips, force chokes, force using hands that are slightly open palm, finger closed, with different versions as you can see on the back side here, outside of the one pointing one. And then uh, I'm assuming his hands that actually come on the figure are going to be the ones that can attach the lightsaber because as of right now none of these are lightsaber gripping hands. Here we have the first version that has the uh, interior wired cape, which seems very good. It goes up over his shoulders and comes down. As you can see, the inside of the figure, the paint apps look great. The uh, head. is not the same as the one before where the helmet comes off in multiple different pieces so not showing a Hayden Christensen alright guys I am back uh, these heads with the cape without the cape uh, the head is removable and interchangeable very easily the cape with the wires up top kinda block the outside of the helmet and make it very difficult to put on. That is one downside to this figure. Um, I mentioned at the beginning that all these hands are force using hands. And maybe he was uh, using the lightsaber hands. Oh, that's disappointing. But lightsaber hand is the more wider grip. And you have to have the actual button. 
at the thumb to uh, fit the lightsaber in hand, as you can see there, or else it falls out, so it's made to hold at the button. And the lightsaber plugs in. Um, you can see the way it's designed to fit in. And as you can see, it's very loose here without the finger being in the button. And it is somewhat difficult to get it to stay the way it should. But once you have it, pull him off camera. change hands and there we have Vader lightsaber in hand and he looks very good this is an excellent excellent figure um, I highly suggest picking this up again best Vader we have, uh, we also have the swinging saber effect. I'm unsure. Let's check it out. See if both sabers you can attach to. You cannot. See, this one's holes closed off. That is strictly to have, um, with no blade on, I'll do a swap on the blade quick. There it is. Like he is swinging it. Absolutely looks great. Um, one of the other things I'm going to point out. Let's get the flash on. Is the detail on the actual clothes like look at all the wrinkles um, on the arms as well they look great the head sculpt I'll pull it I'll pull it off again it may be cutting the video to get the other head but I'd like to have that other head on here so the head sculpt has that nice red eye look to it and that's how much rooms underneath that's what makes it so hard to actually get onto the peg but I'm going to keep this and the old SH figure art Vader to uh, have this version of the battle between uh, Obi-Wan and Vader. And the biggest problem is, is the chain makes it very difficult to get the head on with the cape and as I'm showing here it takes a lot of manipulation to get the hood right at the same time you're trying to push the head on and once the peg moves forward you're moving it out of the actual range that's able to hit the peg hole in here which sure does make it a pain in the butt which happened right there again. There it should be in. And I think I was, you just, it, it's just not a lot of room. And I'll show you. Uh, I'll take this off and show again quickly. Pops on easily without this cape. His cape makes it incredibly difficult.
And I actually got it there. So, this is the head sculpt. Looks fantastic. Look at the detail in there the yellow eyes, the scratches around the face from the scarring. Um, here is his holster for the lightsaber. Now, again, it is only going to be able to be holstered. With the one that uh, does not have the blade attachment. That will holster right onto there. As you can see, there it is holstered. great figure with both the wires capes move extremely well and one other thing I would like to show off is if I can get it out I'm going to try to use the lightsaber to do so makes it much easier we have a damaged piece for the front here let me get this in camera so this should just pop off there it goes um, right like that pops on and there you have the damage from the battle with Obi-Wan now if you'd like to position the cape his more standard look where it's draped in front of him. The wires enable that to be done fairly easily. You have to work with the bottom ones and work it around. So it's going to hold some of its poses unless you move it around a lot um, it's gonna you're gonna have to take a lot of time to move the wires down to get it to be a perfect drape you know wrap it in front of him straighten the wires out in the front but it's very time it's time consuming but easy this wire the, the way that the capes wired around the bottom and sides make it that it's not extremely difficult to get a draped look out of it, as we can see here. All right, now let's go over articulation. The helmet does not enable a lot of up and down movement. Um, I'll move that out of the way. So since the cape's wired, you can get a ton of range the shoulder pads just like the uh, and it popped off the uh, stormtroopers is a uh, movable joint so it can get out of the way I'm gonna have to put that back one later but the arms go to about 90 with the joint on. You have bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. That bends uh, beyond 90 degrees. You do get ab crunch enables and look down that far. Up that far. His kicks are hindered um, by the waist piece here he can go back that far it is is that a double or a single it looks double but I can't get that one to move yeah 
Okay, a double with very minimal coming out of the thigh. And there goes his lightsaber. Um, even with his armor down here at the bottom, you get a ton of movement out of the joint. Some slight rocker movement, not too much. And a toe hinge that bends that far. Leg kicks up to the side. Um, let's have him stand straight. That far out to the side. And that's about it for the articulation. Uh, now, articulation seems somewhat hindered, but this is Vader. Vader is not doing too much dynamic posing. Um, so, you know, he has plenty of posability for the character that he is, even though it seems somewhat uh, hindered. Leg movement is minimal. I forgot the wrist here. Let's go over wrist. Standard Tamashi wrist peg. Full 360 rotation. Once you get the joint, you can go back and forth. It's not hindered up here at his gauntlet at all. And again, the head sculpt looks great. This is a excellent, excellent Vader figure. Uh, now I will grab the original and we will do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two to see what improvements they made with this. So here is the original. And uh, one of the things you can see is the body here looks a lot, a lot better with the cape coming down instead of this separate piece here. Um, the paint apps on the actual, actual chest piece look to be more accurate. We have a dollar tone for the boots and feet. This belt is a little more metallic than this, along with his chest piece here. Even though it's lengthened, it comes down a little further. I think that looks better. Um, let's go over the original head sculpt. If I don't drop everything. So you get some silver detail here in the front and it looks like I have a oh it's shade it maybe to represent a shadowing effect but my silver is here and here and then up here and here so it's creating like a shadow effect where the original has no silver, it's all black, aside from these two pieces down here, have a tiny bit of silver in it, which this does as well. If you can see that silver paint. And then the uh, arms have silver on it, where these don't. So there are some paint differences between this, and then the other thing is this helmet is actually removable to get the uh, other faceplate on, where this one is not. So they made the helmets different, but nonetheless, both absolutely excellent figures, but this one takes the cake. This Vader is the one to go with, especially you get the uh, additional slashing lightsaber effect. Um, just all around absolutely great release i hope you guys picked it up uh it sold out fairly quickly uh, i hope you guys can get your hands on it if it does come up and you see maybe a reseller selling it for retail pick him up excellent vader to rate him i am going to give him a eight and a half out of ten 
this guy would be a seven um only because of the you know cape hindering his articulation the, the bottom cape here hinders his leg articulation uh a lot this opens him up for some better movements uh you got a more accurate design for vader um with this and you get some better paint app details along with more accessories uh that are different from the original release the cape also is a much better fabric if you can see that this is like a silk polyester where this looks like all cloth um and on here the wires are only going down the cape you have no wire at the bottom so it's a much better wired cape um granted you can get the drape look a little easier with this because there isn't the wires in the bottom but you get more dynamic posing out of a fully wired cape that's it for the review guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that thumbs up if you would like to see more content from me as i release subscribe and hit that notification bell to the channel and that's it i hope to see you in the next one got plenty more star wars to go all right guys see ya